Jailbreakers, jailbreakers in relationships. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. Well, I don't give advice, suggestions, recommendations, or information. I just share with you my perspective on different topics as is with this one. And I got to think today about jailbreakers. You know, if you were in a relationship or met somebody and you really, really, really liked them, but there was a deal breaker, would it actually break your relationship or would you adjust or accommodate that deal breaker and continue on in the relationship? I think often people say that a deal breaker is going to break the relationship, which indeed it doesn't. And then other times it can take any kind of deal breaker and it'll break the relationship. I think it depends upon what the significance of the relationship is. You know, for some people, a deal breaker could be a different political view. It could be a different religious view. It could be a different, almost any kind of aspect that's different from themselves or how they perceive themselves or how they perceive going forward in their life, what we call deal breakers. And, you know, often what we call a deal breaker, really, we end up accommodating other people uh, because we don't want to end the relationship. I think it's best to know deal breakers up front in a relationship so that we can not invest too much time and energy into it. Because once we get into it, either we accommodate it or we go through the painful undertaking of ending that relationship in some way. And so it just depends on the, the situation. I mean, if it's just a coworker, likely, unless they're a terrible coworker, it's probably not going to be a deal breaker if they have a different political view or a different religious view or whatever. But in a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship, it could be. So we have to be aware of what our own personal deal breakers are and what the deal breakers are of the people that we go into. And the sooner we know, the less investment or the more investment we will make into a relationship. So like I said, sometimes uh, what a deal breaker is to, uh, initially is not a deal breaker as we go into a relationship and sometimes people will use the least insignificant deal breaker to break up a relationship but not really because of the deal breaker but just simply because they wanted to break up the relationship they were kind of looking for a reason to break it up so deal breakers are out there i i do think that there are some deal breakers that that will break a relationship often there's other deal breakers that people will accommodate but i think either way it's best to know what the deal breakers are up front if we could if we are if we can possibly know what they are from my house to yours may god bless you i hope you like share subscribe to all five channels links are pinned to the top of the comment section below if you connect with me with all five i will likely connect back with you with all five i hope to talk to you then bye bye